Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as 7 Plaza here and on Instagram. And today is day 14 of the 100 day project. And uh, for today I have uh, decided to make some cute little pockets, bags, gift bags, tiny little things that you can use uh, in Happy Mail or uh, in your journals. And I have used, um, I've reused some packaging paper. So that's also a good thing. Let's get started. One of my orders came in this packaging paper, sort of craft paper. And I have used that. I have cut out three pieces. It's a little bit wrinkled, but that's okay. It will straighten out by itself. Um, what you need is rectangular pieces to make these pockets. And you can have them big. The bigger the piece, the bigger the pocket. And the smallest is, I believe, this one. I did not really measure it, but I wouldn't go smaller than this pocket. And this was uh, 6 centimeters by 12. Yeah. And in inches, yes, I have inches on this ruler. 2.5 by 4 and 3 quarters. That's the smallest you can go. You can go like this big and have a big but I wouldn't recommend that uh, because I want to use them in my journals as well. The paper has two sides to it. Um, this paper has a, a more of a smooth and glossy side and then a matte uh, dull side. I am going to be stamping on it. As you have noticed, I'm going to use my archival ink. It must be permanent ink or a uh, stays on. Uh, and I'm also going to use the matte side to um, stamp on because the glossy side it will take ages for your ink to dry if it will dry at all so that's what we're going to use i have made these in a little bit of a theme this is like sort of vintage sewing uh, botanical and postage um, i'm going to do that again but first let's make the pockets I'm going to start with the bigger one. Uh, what you're going to do is fold it over. I uh, would like to have it straight. And fold this over as well. It doesn't need to be in the center. Uh, you can have it in the center, but it could be a little bit off center. Hopefully this is straight. You know me and folding straight. Oh, well, it's really straight. Um, it needs to overlap, guys. This is a lot of overlapping. I could have made it a little bit um, bigger by going like so. But yeah, I fold it this way, so I'm going to keep it this way. This needs to overlap. And then, uh, you could fold it over like so, but I find it easier to have it open again and then fold this up again like half an inch or centimeter or something like that also would be nice if you could have it straight margaret yes we can like this uh, for this one i'd like to um, have this closure or this closure let's do this one you can uh, fold this one over and attach it with a little sticker so what we need to do is fold the other side as well perfectly straight As it turns out, this part is a little bit bigger than this one. So this is going to be my top for now. Then we have some score lines. Uh, what I want to do is cut some pieces away. But I also want um, this closure that for this size to be equal. That I think, think is very important. So I'm going to fold it in first and see how it will measure up. Yes. So I want this part to be the closure, the flap. 
I am going to have these two points here meet together, but I do not want to fold it. Listen to me, paper, we're not folding. We're just going to meet those two points up over here. And straight, get out my scissors. And then cut a little triangle on this side. Maybe on this side as well. Yep. There we go. There's one. And uh, then on the bottom, snip a little piece here. Snip a little piece here. I hope you can follow me, guys. And then we're going to take this part off. I am going to cut on the left side of this crease and slant it a little bit. Why? Because that folds much easier. Again, on the left side of the crease. Well, in this case, the right side of the crease. Yep. So when you fold it now, uh, it's much easier to close this part up because we're going to close it like so. What we can do is reinforce this part. Let's just do that. I'm going to glue this piece down. There you go. And also this piece. It makes the back a little bit stronger, in my opinion. Yeah. And then eventually we're going to fold it like this and this. But before we do that, I would like to stamp on it. So that is what we're going to do now. This bag is going to be my vintage sewing uh, theme bag. What I did with this one is made sure that the, um, the bigger piece of the bag, it closes like this, but I want this to be sort of the front, has the big image on it. And I've used my new stamp. I just received it from uh, my friend uh, Laura at Pink Paper Daisy. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I want this to be a sort of a focal point and I'll, on the other parts I'm going to use some, well not random, stamps. Um, they are all sewing theme related. I have several. Just to make some sort of a background. But I want to start with this piece and hopefully <laughs> it will stamp out nicely in one run this one was a little bit too light it's probably because the stamp is rather new and also i did not leave it on long enough i prefer i really prefer clear stamps um so as opposed to wood mounted stamps i do like uh, the display of them but find it easier to stamp the clear stamps. So, I have it pretty wet. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer and have it. You're gonna see the top of my head guys, I'm sorry, because I need to position it. Yes, over there. You can also not use the stamp aid with this, your stamping tool. Oh, please stamp. I hope you're nice. <laughs> please, 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 please. Well, good enough. It's good enough. There you go. There's one. And I also, um, I also want to stamp the flap. Normally, with the other, uh, with the other bags, uh, it's going to be really random where I stamp. Not with this one. Um, because I want it to be some sort of a painting, um, some sort of design on here. I'm going to copy it a little bit. And there you go. I have this old sewing machine, it's so cute. I have it over here. Uh, 
where are my acrylic blocks these are some stools over here this is a piece of advertisement Make sure you have it the right way up over there and then I have some more small things that I'd like to use overlapping with here because I also want to stamp on here of course I have this more modern uh, sort of sewing kit so I'm, I'm going to use a few things in this kit just a couple a safety pin goes like so another measuring tape do I have it over here over here it's a long one do I have any long acrylic blocks on this is the longest one I have I could also uh, take out my stamping aid but mm, no <laughs> it takes too much time And it has some buttons. And then I will repeat some stamps. That's quite all right. Spool. Over here. When we will um, glue it, I want this piece to go over here. So I want to keep that in mind. sewing machine to be on here yep spools can overlap a bit let's have a button have a button over here also really like this sort of a measuring tape I'm going to use um, the corset only once. What else do I have? All oh, these cute little buttons. It's going to be cute. And then the safety pin again. Like so. Close it up again. We need some pieces here, like these cute buttons. And the advertisement piece. Yep, we're gonna have something over here. Of course we do. Going to add this one. Uh, it's gonna close like so. I do not want it to be upside down. How cute is that? Really cute. If I do say so myself. So let's glue it. As I mentioned, I want this flap to go over here. I'm going to put some glue on. Be sure to not glue farther than um, this piece. Because uh, if this was like smaller, like so, then you could glue this piece onto the main flap. And you will not get it open again. If you know what I mean. There you go. 
glue this flap down. Tiny bit more glue over here. I'm really happy that we decided to um, glue these parts in for some reinforcement because it does feel much sturdier now. It's really nice. So what you can do, is, let's say you have this little pocket and you want to send a happy mail to a friend. What I would do is put stuff like this in. This one, some vintage snap-on buttons, maybe some nice vintage buttons, um, a lace bobbin. These are from um, Digital Collage Club. Mm, very nice. And then you have it in the pocket. Also, put in a little note, say, hi, how are you, or thank you, or anything you'd like to say to your friend. And like this, close it up, and I have these beautiful little stickers that say, handmade with love. Well, put it on. There you go. Ta-da, little surprise. Shall we do another one? Let's do the smallest one. Again, have the um, glossy side on the inside and then the matte side on the outside. But first I'm gonna fold it. In the same manner as the last pocket. Of course I'm gonna have um, this bottom side a lot smaller than one centimeter. And also I am not going to uh, fold it at the top because we're gonna have this sort of a closure. Is it straight? Let's have a look. Well, straight enough for me. Putting this part up. Yes. Have a little snippy. Again, slanting it a little bit. Oh, it's on the other side. stamp a bit. There we go. I have this page underneath. Um, I want to do this with a postage uh, theme. And I have all these stamps that go with it. I actually have a lot. Um, but I do want to use this one because I like this one. It says uh, airmail. And this one says Berlin. I also have this oval one. And it says Post. A bigger one. Yeah, I have one that says Apeldoorn. Apeldoorn is a city in the Netherlands. So let's just use that. Here are my blocks. Again, very happy uh, that I have several of these that much easier especially when you're going to do some stamping and repeat the same uh, stamp over and over again using my stay uh, my stays on my archival ink also stays on really enjoy it it smells really nice <laughs> and the problem is it's almost dried out so I needed a new one this is going to be some random stamping Oops, and there you go. I want the apple drawing to be a little bit in the center. Maybe I could send it to someone in Apple Dorn. Don't know if I have any Instagram friends there. If you're a subscriber and you're from Apple Dorn, please let me know because I'll send you this. <laughs> I will. Not by airmail, <laughs> that's not really necessary. Nope. Let's do another Berlin on this side. Another post. 
and this one. Still, I'm switching my acrylic blocks. Another apple door over here. And another post over here. It's gonna be upside down. Yes. There you go. Cute little bag. By now we can just glue it down. Which part is gonna go over which part? Yes, I'm gonna have it like this. Again, I'm only gonna glue the edge of this part. Glue it over, and then the bottom part. It's really easy, and it's really quick little project. So, what I want to do with this one is make this closure. I'm gonna use my big Crop it out. I cannot see because there's something inside. There you go. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm gonna find the center. I'm gonna eyeball it. Do not put your fingers in, Margaret. You know what can happen. Yes. Crop it out will bite you. So we have a couple of holes now. And uh, what I want to do is reinforce the holes. Let me show you. What I found um, at a thrift shop, of course. These are ho uh, hole reinforcers. These are old ones. And they're sort of um, plasticky. Um, so they're not uh, craft uh, paper ones that you also have. And I was thinking, well, shall I use them? I don't know. And then I decided, here's one I made earlier, uh, to just random stamp on them. And that has such a lovely effect. It be sure to let it dry because this is really plastic. Then they're a little bit uh, decorated. I'm gonna have one on both sides. There you go. So, what shall we send in this? Well, obviously, we're gonna send some postage stamps. Because I have a bunch different ones. There you go. Put them in like so. And then I'm going to use um, some twine or embroidery floss or whatever you have at hand, some baker's twine. Little piece. Gonna oops. Pull it through and then pull this part through again. Like so. Cute little package on its way to Appledorn. Let's have another one. So let's make the last one. But before we do that, yeah, you know, Appledorn. I don't know about you, but um, there's no Eiffel Tower in Appledorn. <laughs> um, let me show you guys. The one next to the Eiffel Tower one, you cannot see it, but this is the one that says Appledorn. I uh, picked the wrong one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, yeah, um, I will make one, another one for Appledorn and another one for uh, Paris and Berlin. So, if you're in one of these cities, please let me know. Um, I will send it to you, I promise. So, yeah. Stupid me. There we go. The last one. Again, I am going to no fold the matte side on the outside. I I have to cut this one a little bit because it is too uh, long. Let's see if it's straight first. See, this is. Or otherwise it's going to be, a, I think, a rather... Well, let's have a square one. Why not? 
does not have to be a rectangle one. I'm gonna have this one a little more square. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah. Over here. Also, again, I'm not gonna um, fold this one because we're gonna have um, some sort of indentation in there. I am making these out of the packaging material, but you could use like anything. Uh, I also used to make them with music paper, that is very, very nice. Uh, or, you know, some printables, or children's book pages, dictionary pages. Um, but I'd like to use these ones when I, when I want to do the stamping part. Um, otherwise, it will be a bit much, I think. Right, this is not straight, and this is bothering me. There you go. Same thing, snippity here, snippity here, some other side. Um, this was, of course, not my idea. I think this idea has been around for like centuries. Uh, but the one um, that showed me how to make the pockets was Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. And the idea from the stamping came from Tracy Fox. It's also very brilliant. There we go. Let's do some stamping. I want this one to be sort of botanical. these stamps with like ferns or something on them I used the very small ones on these um, but we're gonna have some bigger ones on this one because the pocket is also a little bit bigger I'm gonna have it this way. Yeah. When I do this, I'm usually um, start with the bigger stamps first, with the bigger sizes, and then fill it in with all the tiny ones. these these are from my uncle Ollie I've had them for a while some more over here and over here I have some smaller ones These would have been lovely in if I would have uh, stamped them in green, but I do not have green uh, permanent uh, ink, so black it is. so cute I do not know I have no idea if, if they're still available because I have had them for a long time they're so cute
think that's enough. Before we glue it, I um, want to have like a sort of half a circle, not half a circle, piece of. I'm gonna use my big circle punch, find the center, and then snip out a bit. There you go. Before we glue it, because after you glue it, well, this pocket is rather big. Uh, but your circle punch won't fit in most of the time. We were gonna have it like this, yeah? Yeah. Glue, glue, glue. I wonder how many glue sticks um, um, I will go through after the 100 day project is finished. What Rachel did a couple of years ago was save the, the caps of the glue sticks to see how many she used up. So let's do that. It's not really straight on this side. I thought it was straight, but apparently I wasn't. But that's why we have scissors. Perfect. What are we going to send in this? I was thinking, and I'm hoping they will fit. Um, thinking about my Ficada cards. These are not flowers, these are all fishies. Oh, I did not even think about measuring them. Yeah, let's see. For example, you can put in some Ficada cards. Will they fit? No! Well, you can put them like so. That's not a problem. There you go. Perfect for avocado cards or uh, botanical um, stickers or something that matches the theme. So, that's the last one. Let's see the end result. Here they are. The cute pockets. This one, this one is that we made, and this one is the one that I made earlier. And then we have these two, and this one really says Appledorn. <laughs> and um, then the botanical ones. I really enjoy making them. I hope you liked the video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, or, well, if you live in Appledorn, Berlin, or Paris, um, <laughs> let me know. See you in the next one. Bye, ladies.